Hello, hello, hello. What we got here then? So, it is Friday afternoon for me. I'm at home. There is nobody else at home. So what better thing to do than do a bit of a live stream? So, this ship that we're currently working on is for a web series that I'm working on. Um, all the files are going to be on Patreon, blah, blah, blah. But, hey, so, look, Terry's already here. Beautiful. So what we're going to be doing is building the cockpit up today. Um, and we might even do some of the internals. The ship is looking nice. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Uh, this is a material that I've been working on to try and make it look a little bit better. Now, the plan is is to export this over into Omniverse and render it all out in Omniverse. So that's why I've built up a custom texture. Textures available on Patreon. Sweet. All right. So now. Let's just get rid of this window. So I've got two cat. Okay. <laughs> so I've got two characters already in here. So this is going to be roughly the size of this whole cockpit area. Um, the plan is just like Star Citizen to maybe even just have like a bed compartment or some sort of compartment where um, you know he can rest during the period. Um, but I'm more going to be concerned about that center console and see what comes out of that first before we start moving back. Now you can see very much that the whole area is nice and open, providing good visibility. Um, I did scale the ship by 1.1 because I found that I actually made it a little bit too short. So now it's a little bit higher. You little ripper should be a lot more comfortable for these characters. So first things first, let's kind of build out the interior so we can block it out, remove the exterior of the ship and work like that. So characters disappear. Click that one. Um, just for now, let's go into a plane, G to the Z, and we're gonna put an edge loop straight in there. V to rip, delete, Levertus. Um, mirror modifier on, what else we got? Let's press N. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let me just get rid of that spin tool just for now because we don't need that line around. There we go. So this is going to be the bottom. So it is very much that whole view, the whole wall is gonna be there. And this is now I could probably bring the characters even forwarder, even more forward just to give them some extra room. Um, from here, let us extract Extrude. I'm just extruding up to the top here. And then we can kind of start curving things around. Come on, you fat mole. There it is. GG, bring that back in. Let's do another edge loop through here. And we're just going to bring that in to there. Shape screencast keys. That's what Marco was going to turn on because Marco did not turn it on. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just... Um, Screencast keys. There we go. This is just what we do. Uh, the channel is all about learning a bit of Blender, a little bit of Omniverse. Um, and at the moment, currently working on building physical devices as well. Um, for those of you who have seen the Instagram, I'm, yeah, that machine that I'm working on is coming along quite nice. Now, I'm in the wrong mode there. Let's go back to medium points, scale on the Y axis. Nice. And we'll bring that over. Now the mechanics workshop that we're working on on Sunday, I think has been coming along quite nicely as well. I was able to export that into Omniverse. Um, where are we? There she, there she is. Uh, I was able to export that into Omniverse and get a really nice quick result, which is great. Okay, so from here, let's go our back wall. Let's go E to extrude. Something about there-ish, I would say. Hey, hey. And then let's do this one. Whoops. Let's do another edge loop again. Probably to about there. That's roughly where it starts. Um, we actually might just bring this down a smidgen as well. Just so it's not intersecting with that roof part. Whoop, there's our roof anyway. Um, we can line this up. Let's make sure it's sitting correctly. It is sitting correctly. Just this first bit's gonna be a little bit messy while we're blocking this out. Um, because once we've done that, I'm just having a look, where does it start turning? It starts 
turning all the way back here. That's fine. That's fine. And maybe we'll just go all the way here. No, hang on. Front of the ship is here. And then I'm just going to move this bit over. If you have any questions, hey, I'm here. Uh, also, on the Discord, I'm starting to be quite active on there. Um, building a pretty good community, and I appreciate all my people on there who um, are helping everyone out. I think Blender's just a great tool. Uh, let's turn on clipping. It's, it has brought so many people together. Why is that Irish? I don't know. But anyway, so let's kind of just line that up. Cool. How's that looking? That is looking not too bad up here. That's looking fine. Um, we'll probably come in later and add some more bevels, so on and so forth. And that, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's put, maybe what we might do is actually bring this all down even further. So it's like that. And then up above is just kind of like ventilation, whatever kind of systems are sitting up there. Let's bring in the characters. Whoops. Um, I just want to see how is he going to stand in here now? Is there enough room? Alt R, Alt G to reset the rotation and location. And the floor, oops, let's pick out a little bit here. The floor is meant to be here. Is he hitting his head? Almost. So we will bring the floor down a little bit further to maybe about here. There we go. Cool. Solving problems. Let's grab all these floor pieces here. And we'll go G to the Z. And we said the floor is going to be about there. Excellent. So now we can grab this section. Not all that, please. I don't want that, mate. Get staffed. Cool. Let's press 1. C, I'm going to grab all this, that, that. And just going to bring that in a smidgen. Let's go G to the Y and we'll push it back a bit. That's looking good. Fairly chuffed with that. Let's fix this up now. Press F to create a face. Jason Production, welcome. Uh, I am rocking a 4K screen. Uh, it's a new purchase. And... Um, I don't know how I was doing all this without one previously. Like, phew. it's, uh, I think it was a good investment. Editing videos has changed completely. Because now I've got so much more real estate in DaVinci and so on and so forth. Um, not much of a gamer though, except for the occasional Rocket League. You know, if I need to tilt some people. Um, but, it's, yeah, it has been great. So I look forward to utilizing this all a little bit more. Let's now, we've got this. Uh, how are we here? Let's just kind of finish this top section off. So I'm going to grab these vertices up here. And then just do E to extrude, bring it down. And we can see that we've got a little bit of clipping. That's fine. We'll fix that in a sec. Let's maybe, where are we? I don't even know where it is. There it is. Let's bring it like so. There we go. We've gotten rid of our clipping, which is sweet candy. Uh, we're going to put an edge loop through here and then press F just to kind of close up that section. You have a new foot? No, I am rocking a A6000, which is more of a... Um, Funnily enough, more of a AI-based graphics card. Um, I get staffed. I, I haven't done that yet. So that's what I'm using at the moment. I think I probably will eventually upgrade to the Ace, uh, the 490 series, um, but that might be a next year purchase. Just because I've got this one now. <laughs> Rendering isn't really a problem for me at the moment, purely for the fact is I've got a few people who've reached out who you know, want to help out as much as possible. And uh, they have some pretty beefy hardware. All right, so we've got that, that, that. Um, I am going to move this to a new collection. I'm going to call this interior. That's not how you spell it, but that is fine by me. 
and we have glass. Now this glass here, I'm going to move to the interior for now. And with the spaceship, let's get rid of that. So this is kind of like what we're going to be working with. I'm in a skate group. We have community edit every month. Simple flags of our logo in the background of my clips. Now everyone thinks. <laughs> is mid journey the best to use if you want to generate ideas? I, um, I use it quite heavily, Brandon. So, you know, before every live stream, I'm normally smashing out a few mid journeys to get some ideas. Um, that's how I came up with the other one. So let me just quickly open up the mechanics factory. Factory? Workshop, that's the word. Um, and I might have some images there. So let's go silver comment. Da -da 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 -da. Nope, I am looking for number 56, please. There we go, mechanics setup. So let's just quickly crack this open and I'll show you. So that was the ship in the background. Please open. There we go. So this is my mid journey image. And this is what we've kind of come up to at the moment. So I started creating other assets on discord, kind of just doing it live with, uh, you know, people listening in and having a chat. And as you can see, we are, am I GPU? I am GPU. We are creating all like tables. I've got CNC machines from previous projects that I'm using that I just have to texture. And so, yeah, it's all coming along. For those of you who are here on Sunday, you know, we just did a muck around and we op animated these doors. So this is how the door would open. Um, the plan with this workshop as well is that there is a giant concrete plate and the ship lands on that plate and kind of just goes in. Um, but yeah, I use Mid Journey quite a bit to start the idea. I'm not copying the idea. So for instance, kind of like this ship here, you know, I got the basic shape, but I've put my own spin on it. So I'm not, I want to say I'm copying it at all. In getting inspiration is the word. Let's go with that. So for now, let's kind of build up this section. So I'm just going to hide this mirror modifier for now. Characters go away for a sec as we are just going to be focusing on this section in here. Now the plan was, like I said, is to kind of create maybe like a betting situation. Um, I did jump into Star Citizen as well, just to kind of get ideas because I think Star Citizen is a really great example of some amazing things they've done. One thing that I would, that's terrible. One thing I do want to learn though is how to do uh, like trim sheets better and especially on external It's horrendous, especially on like external surfaces. Let's go GG. It's going to semi line that up. So it's a little bit smoother. Eh, could be better. <laughs> so, uh, C, there we go. Scale X zero, scale Y zero. Just so that's in line. Might do the same here. Just so everything's kind of straight and uniform. Let's go back into this section. I am just going to move this back. Um, let's bring back our ship just to make sure it's not conflicting with anything. Nice. I don't like this plane here. So let's straighten that out and maybe we might have to just deform this whole front section. So we'll probably just create some panels and so on and so forth. Back into here. Spaceship go away. Um, I want this section here. We're just going to move it along the X axis. G to the X. Thank you. Just so it's as straight as possible. And like so. Let's go probably about here. Probably about here. Let's go a little bit more. Okay, now I'm lost. Which panel is meant to be straight? Let's grab both of these. Scale X zero. I hate you so much. Oh yeah, because they're different. That makes sense. Hmm, hmm. Scale Y zip. Let's do that again, Marco. Come on, you can do this, buddy. Scale X zero, scale Y zero. And let's just quickly have a look to see if that's still in line with our ship. Not that one, please. Our spaceship, please. There we go. Nice. It's sitting a little bit off. Look, 
I'll live with that for now. But that is probably going to be a future Marco problem. This here, we will need to move in. Probably about here-ish, I would say. And then that's going to stuff that all up. A little bit too much of a twist, I think. Like that. Spaceship, let go away. And there we go. Just minimize that twist. Excellent. Let me just, let me just quickly check one last time. Cool. Whatevs. What I'll do here to hide this gap is probably just create some sort of giant pillar. Just to kind of uh, hide that section there. Let's go with that. So let's now start kind of building up the inside. I'm going to start... Maybe let's start at the front. Uh, spaceship go away. Characters come back. You, buddy. If I just move you along the timeline. I did not set a pose for you. Which is slightly infuriating. But that's fine. Come on. Down here. Who are you? You right click. Uh, delete hierarchy. And then I'm going to grab you. G to the X. You're going to sit about here-ish, mate. And I'm going to bring you forward. G to the Z. Let's have a look. Where are you? So that's where your feet are going to be. This is how you're sitting. Nice and snug. Let's grab him again. And we're just going to go Shift D to the X. Where are you? About here, I reckon. So luckily enough, I have already created a few assets that we're just going to be utilizing. Um, from here, let's open up the asset browser. And we're going to come into Kit Bashing Sci-Fi Engines. No, we've got console. So what is the console going to look like? Hmm. Come over to the interior collection cube. You're in the right spot. Nice. All right. Let's kind of grab something like that. What the heck's this? Let's fix that up. GG. Make sure that's in line. And then we'll just grab all these. G to the Z. Nice. Okay, so something I'm thinking is... Maybe we just kind of have a giant console. Is blocking out spaceship before adding details way better? Yes. Because which I've done many a times is I've made a spaceship or made whatever. But then when it comes time to do those finer details, you find that you've just uh, stuffed yourself up. So by doing this, it kind of allows you to a explore ideas quickly before concreting your ideas. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I will, try my best to always just block out. So for instance here, are we gonna keep this straight or should I curve it around the corner a little bit? What I am thinking though, is bringing up something like that. But now, this is interesting. Do we just go something simple like this? And then what this will allow him to have a lot more like visibility around? Because obviously here now, if I were to create a console that wraps all the way around, we've lost a lot of that visibility. Um, we're here, you know, technically you can still peek around, so on and so forth. I think, I reckon this is the way to go. Just a small little display like this. Um, maybe we might even make this top section holographic. All right. And how's that going to stand? I don't know. We'll come back to that in a sec. But what we could do is just quickly go do a control S and save. Uh, we can throw in a joystick. It's a big joystick, mate. Well done. Let's go face project. Control G. Tab into animo. Let's bring that up a smidgen. Uh, rotate 180. Scale that up. So I don't think that works. Maybe we can do a bit of an offshoot where it sits here. We have kind of something like that. Um, then we can come in, probably throw a screen on there. Something like this. Let's throw on some dials. Why not? Let's go a bit manual. Mm, even that's a bit too big. 
maybe let's go rotate ZZ 90 degrees. That'll give us that. And then from here, I reckon a slider style panel. Yep. Um, I am a fan of these dials. This right here. Let's go G, hold control, rotate Z, Z, 90 degrees. And then we've got this. This allows him to have more access to stuff. I've seen people retop my uh, spaceship for better texturing. I don't know if free topologizing. So, look, I will try and create a clean... How big is that? Oh, that's the console. I will try and clean, create a... I will try to create a mesh that's as clean as possible so I don't have any issues. Um, so, oh, it's not there at the moment. So if we were to bring in that ship, back that ship, uh, minimize characters. So I've tried to keep it as clean as possible using quads. Um, tried to make the the every face to be as flat as possible. Hey, eh? Um, to try and keep every panel as as straight as possible. UV unwrapping like this one, this piece here. I ended up just chopping it up because the the unwrapping process was really horrendous. Um, but if we kind of go into rendered mode, I'll show you what it looks like. The undercarriage, I could probably do some more work, but on top, I spent a lot of time trying to get those UVs nice. Um, this piece here was a bit of a nightmare, purely for the fact is, is that it's kind of like on three sides where I normally try and keep it on two maximum-ish, but three, eh, semi. I still recommend trying to have good topology as much as possible. You can go N-Gons on hard surface, but as soon as you add in some curves, you're going to punch yourself in the face. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, so I'm liking how this is coming. Uh, might just move that one to there. Rotate Z 180. And then let's go maybe just one more touch panel screen. Rotate Z 90 degrees. There we go. Let's go G, hold control. Um, and then we could probably put just a massive key panel just here. Let's rotate ZZ 90 degrees. Wait. Right. And I'm just going to plop you about here. I can still make that a little bit bigger. Nice. So we've pretty much now blocked out that center console. I'm thinking of something nice and small. Um, I don't have anything to go, you know, faster or slower, but whatevs. What the holy didgeridoo are you doing on this time of the day, mate? <laughs> Fair suck of the sav, love. Uh, I have... I'm at home by myself, and I went, hey, let's, uh, let's do a bit of a live stream. <laughs> that was uh, that was my thinking behind it. Um, but there still will be a video tonight, still the Sunday night live stream, so don't you worry, I am still around. Um, so I like the way that that is looking. I do need to make a door, but because this whole object is mirrored, I'm not going to worry about that a little bit later. I'll worry about that a little bit later. In this section in here, I'm just going to grab this cube, P separate by selection. So now I've got uh, this bit in here. I kind of want, I'm going to grab him, you. Let's go into pose mode, please. And let's just get rid of that asset library for now. Alt R to reset the rotation. Alt G to reset the location. Let's select everything. Alt R, Alt G. Um, let's just pose this chap just so he's kind of lying down. Why are you not moving your arms? That's because I've got that selected. There we go. So I'm just using him just as a dummy. Mate, chillax. Rest your shoulders. You're so tight. There we go. Oop, I got stretching on. That's a little bit frustrating, but that's fine. So the reason for that is, is like I said earlier, I am going to take a, I am, 
Rose Y hundred and eighty. I am gonna take a little bit out of um, Star Citizen's playbook, and so I am gonna throw in a bed, maybe up high, something like there-ish, and then underneath here can be a whole bunch of, um, you know, stuff. In Bavaria, it was nice for four o'clock in the morning. Well, yeah, it's it's lunchtime now, so. Ah, Kawazi's here. Welcome. Yeah. Be missing your main streams. Yeah, so that's why I figured I might as well try a bit of a different audience. See what happens. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check it out. So there we go. So this is what his bed's going to look like. Um, I probably could just steal the bed from the apartment. I actually really did like that bed. I think that turned out super nice. So this is what we're going to be looking at. I'll try and make everything as modular as possible. So for instance, here now, let's go something like that, something like that. And we don't want him rolling out. So I'm going to do a bit like this. Let's put another edge loop in here and then we'll grab all this section. So minus U, minus U and minus U, G to the Z. And we'll bring you down like so. Let's do an edge loop up top there, scale Z zero and then Oh, oh, that's not going to work, is it? Let's do that, okay? This is kind of, uh, the point of this is just kind of like for a sticky situation where you just need to chillax. Oops, let's go GY. GY, GZ, and so that's what it's roughly going to be like. Excellent. Uh, from here, let's jump over back into object mode. Let's go into Nyar. Let's do add modifier and we're going to go into a solidify modifier. There we go. And we're just going to make that just a little bit thicker. Bop, bop. And let's go even thickness. What the heck? Let's go shift N to make sure our normals are fine. So this is my problem. I hate you so much. So let's work. What are you doing, you donkey? Let's work backwards. I'm going to select all this, 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 and this. Scale Z zero. Select everything. Merge by distance. Aha! There we go. Fixed. Lovely. Jubblies. Leo, welcome. Uh, man, I'm serious. So I no, bring us in the series. Yes. It is coming along nicely. Uh, I have had a bit of input from a few people. So, and I am looking forward to, you know, what comes out of it. Uh, I know I'm going to be getting quite a bit of support from various parties. Um, but yeah, this is just something I am looking forward to sharing with you guys as well. It's going to be sick, I hope. Um, yes. There we go, something like that. And then I will do the same on this side. Hmm, can I do it? Oh yeah, yeah, let's just do it like this. Edge loop just here-ish. Nope, a little bit more sunshine, GG. All the way to the edge and bring it back a little bit. And then we're gonna go like so, like so. Let's just hide that briefly, just so we can work on this coffin looking thing. Let's deselect all this. And then we will deselect all this. Numpad one. And we're going to get scale Z. All right. Very basic. Nice. Nice voodoo move. <laughs> Excellent. Pretty chuffed with that. From here. Now, this is where I could use a trim sheet and do some funky stuff, but I won't because I'm not proficient enough in it. Um, but that is a skill set, as I mentioned earlier, that I am trying to learn. I'm going to press I to do it in. Ooh, let's not just yet. I'm going to apply. Blah. What's the best way? Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it like this. Let's do I to do an inset. 
uh, I hate you. Let's go into side view. Scale X zero. Yep, cool. Suck a lemon. GX. Okay, let's undo all that. We'll do I now. There we go. Uh, let's go GZ. I'm going to select this edge because I want it to be in line with that, but I don't want to move this edge. If I come up to the top here and select item, I can see where it is on the Z axis. Let's go copy. Fun fact, you don't actually have to select that to copy. You can just hover over it and press Control C. I'm going to select this edge, Control V. Oh, I was 0 0.005 off. Well done, Marco. Good job. Cheers. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm enjoying On Your Girl right now. It's divine. Okay. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't know what that is. So let's select these these here. Oh, I'm thinking, do I throw on a bevel now or should we just rip them? I think we might just rip for now. From here, let's do a control B to do a bevel. Middle mouse button in. And from here, I'm going to press control numpad minus. And that's going to des shrink my selection. Uh, from here, let's go Alt S to scale in and press V to rip. So now we've kind of got that little bit of an inlay. I mean, this is where we could hide some electronics or so on and so forth for the bed. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Now, one thing as well from that tunnel tutorial that I posted a couple of days ago try not to use emission shaders as light source light sources you will shoot yourself in the face purely for the fact is you're going to get so many fireflies uh lesson learned uh the only reason why i worked that out is because when i brought it over into omniverse omniverse was even struggling to render it so that's sort of how i knew yep marco you got to fix that buddy and marco did fix it which is good Good job, Marco. No worries. Uh, <laughs> actually, no. Let's go into a bevel. Don't encourage me. And we're going to go something like that. Now, is a bevel going to work? Mm, why are you being a jerk? Why? If I turn that off. If I bring this up. All right. So my bevel problems are right here which is no good for me. That is, ah, oh, that sucks. It means I can have to manually bevel everything. That's fine, let's just do that. Uh, that, 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 that. And we'll just get rid of that, beautiful. Let's do a control B to do a bevel. I hate you. Ah, oh, suck a lemon. There we go. C, middle mouse, just deselect that. We've got the boxes, control B. Why are you being a tool bag? Are you an Engon? You're not an Engon. Why are you being a Jerkosaurus? So this is why you're not beveling is because of you. You are my problem. Delete, actually we'll do this. Let's go delete face. I'm gonna do the same here, delete face. I'm gonna press V to rip and I'm going to grab this other vertice. There we go. And we'll go GZ, bring that up, yes. Ah, uh, mm. okay. So the problem is, is I can't bevel properly because of this line here. Because obviously there's five points off the one vertice. So that's what we got to clear up. Let's try, actually, let's select everything. Merge by distance. I'm going to go select this whole edge, this whole edge, this whole edge, this whole edge. And we're going to do V to rip, Control L, G, Z, minus one, just to move that bottom out. Now I'm going to come in, select all this, scale Z, zero. So it's all flat now, and we'll bring that back up to where it needs to be. V 
this will now mean I can go E to extrude Z and bring it down. And because everything should line up, I should be able to just go F. Ah, suck a lemon. <laughs> I should be able to just go F, F, F. Yeah, you suck. So that means merge by distance. Make sure we don't have any lingering vertices. We have, what's this? Do I have anything on the other side? I don't think I do, do I? I do not. So let's select this whole edge loop, just do a control B, just to round off those edges. F, F, ah, suck a lemon. What, oh, there's one there as well. Okay, all right, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Let's do an edge loop around here. F, 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 sweet. All right, that made life easier. Let's now just select this bottom bit, control L, delete, la vertices. And bevel should be a little bit better. You are not, I hate you. Let's get merged by distance. Any problems, no problems. Where is my problem then, Marco? What vertice is being it? What is kicking you in the face? You're kicking me in the face. What's this? You are kicking me here. Okay, why? Why, why, why? If I bring that up, can I increase that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down, settle down. Con control Z. Ah, oh, crud. What have I done now? Bring you in. Okay, this here is a problem. Why are you a problem? Okay, what do we got in here? So technically I should have gone V to rip. So this panel here is, should be its own um, piece. Ah, I reckon that's my problem. Let's go delete face. Let's do an edge loop through here. Delete face. Mm, that I'm not liking. F, F. One, two, three, four. No, so that's the problem there. That edge. Delete edge. What if I went the other way? F goes up. It's like I need an edge loop here. So you are my problem. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. Yes. Delightful. Let us defeat. Oh, hang on. What's this loop? That's that loop. Okay. And if I do that, I've still got the same problem. But I need to... I mean, technically, I can just split that. GG. And go FF. Because at the end of the day, it is only a... Um, It is only, uh, yeah, but you're still, you're still a jerk. What the heck? Let's just make sure that my face orientation is correct. That's correct. Is that my problem? No, surely that's not my problem. No, it's something here. Mirror modifier, that's the bevel. Uh, 
Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I got too many once again. So, you suck. This one freaking vertice is my problem. The problem is it's got five points coming off it. So we got one, two, three. That's three points. That's not four. Wait, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this bit here is my issue. But then when I had that merge at last, I still had the same problem. What the heck? It's all flat. Is it flat? Why is that bulging out? All right, whatever. Let's go with that. <laughs> cool. Anyway, back to making this. I don't know. I'm not going to argue with it for now. That can be a future marker problem when I'm crying in tears. Um, so now let's jump over into that solidify modifier. All right, that is frustrating. Um, from here, let's grab, I'm just gonna grab face. Sure, shift D, Y, X, P, separate by selection. Let's get rid of the solidify modifier. Let's get rid of the bevel for now. Doesn't need to have a mirror modifier. You don't need to have a mirror modifier. Um, let's go back into this tab and all we're going to create some sort of like a light saucy mixor source here. And then we'll also create a bit of shelving in this section. Um, now this goes back to that previous question that, uh, Jackson asked blocking. How important is it? Very important. Because now, I don't know if I've wasted a whole bunch of time making this stinking bed for no reason. Is it going to fit the aesthetic? I don't know. So, let's go Control and Shift and to flip that normal. Um, and then as well, what we'll add is maybe just kind of like a shelf as well. It's just going to grab that face there. Shift D, scale on the Y. E to extrude, just a nice small little shelfy McShelf shelf. G to the Z. So now if I go Alt H, does that kind of fit? Let's just hide the windshield. I mean, it kind of works okay. Under here, we've got to, you know, create some cabinets and such. Where did I create cabinets? I created it in the apartment any of those work i'm just trying to think it does have that really cool pc it's got a monitor i don't need any of those parts all right let's so let's go ahead and just start building some crud that'll be sitting under here um if we go control z on that scale z 0.5 gz1 gz.5 right so this now doesn't really work because this is now a meter high. Um, I, I guess it probably could actually. It's just kind of like a small shelving unit because the way I'm kind of picturing this is as if it's... Um, I don't think that bed's going to work. Ah! Oh! Nah, she'll be right, mate. <laughs> Let's go GZ, bring that up. This now moves over all the way to the end. G to the X to about, to about there. So that comes over to that section. That stays there. Um, from here, let's kind of make this as a cupboard. I'm going to put a support. Actually, we'll do three support sections in here. One, two, three. I to do an inset. I again to do individual faces and we're going to go E to extrude all the way back until we hit the back. There we go. Lovely. From here, I'm going to select this section, this section, 
Thus and thus, as the Kiwis would say. There we go. Let's just give that a bit of a bevel. I'm going to grab the bottom section here. Make sure they're all sitting flush. Uh, G to the Z. There we go. They're sitting on the ground. Uh, you really look like... You really look like... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, how good is it in Star Citizen when you're like, you just wake up and you're in one of those um, cubicles straight off the bat? Those apartments. I think it is lovely. It is a great aesthetic. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask. Oh, what the heck? Uh, let's do that. Beautiful. That. Do I have everything? Now, if I do a control B, what's going to happen? Why would you... Okay. Huh. Now, if I did a control B, do you still expand upwards? No, nah, sweet. All right. So control B again. Some think maybe a little bit more than that about there ish lovely jubblies like and then from here let's grab this section shift d g to the y bring that out and then i'm just going to select that top face f f f f f f f f f f f f control l e to extrude uh whoops control l thank you select all your mole Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. E to extrude. And then we're going to have something like that. This section here, I'm going to press I to do an inset. I'll scale that in a bit more. That's a bit too, like, blasé. Let's go X, G to the Z. I'm going to make that wider. Let's do E for an inset. Shift D, Y, scale on the Z, G, like so. And what this is, is the latch for the door. Control L, shift N. There we go, flip that normal around. Lovely job, ladies. Look, you normally when I'm streaming, it's like 12 o'clock at night. It's, uh, it's a little bit more in the afternoon today. It's almost 1 p.m. Um, yeah, clearly, it's a, it's a little bit different. Let's go scale, just scale that up a smidgen. Um, we need to give this some hinges. You know what, I'm gonna be lazy and that is going to be a future Marco problem. Let's go Shift D to the X, bring that over roughly in the middle. Yes, it is. Shift D to the X, bring that over roughly in the middle. Yes, it is. Let's grab all this pizzazzle. If you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, all that jazz. Hey, and then we're gonna dump that in there. Actually, where's nobody new has come into the stream yet? That's fair enough. So welcome to everyone here. Who are my supporters? Thank you. It's that uni energy. <laughs> Well, I'm on uni holidays at the moment, so I'm loving it. Uh, I'm not used to... I'm not used to not working. I am working at uni. I am working. But it's more the fact that, uh, you know, being in the workforce now for 20 plus years, and when I've got like two weeks off, whoosh, you know. <laughs> All right. So from here, I do like how that turned out. This here will obviously have our mirror modifier on it, and this will be our door. Let's just go Control A just to apply that mirror modifier. Sorry, just a bit of a stroke. The door. How am I going to do the door? Because initially I was going to have the door like here. You know what? Yep, that's where the door is. P, separate by selection. Uh, from here, I'm going to grab the outsides of it. Actually, let's grab everything. Let's do I to do an inset because I kind of want that loop. Noise. And then from here, let's go G to the Y. 
Let's go P separate by selection, you dog. There we go. Let's now go, I can select vertices. I know how to do that, Marco. Or faces. You speak good English. Thank you. We're going to go something. Mm. Actually. Undo, 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 undo. Let's 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 think about this a little bit better. So this the let's join these. Control J to, oops, Control J to join. Select or merge by distance. I'm gonna put an edge loop through here, because obviously there needs to be the top of the door. There's going to be a bottom of the door. Um the door mm, what kind of door should we do? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Steve. Matter of time off. Absolutely, you got it. Also, what are you sewing on stream? Reasonable where I live. Well, yeah, it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I've got a bit of free time. The uh, family has gone out to see a film. I don't know what film, um, but I've been doing. A whole bunch of things that I've had to tick off before I go back to school. So I'm like, hey, I got some free time. Let's do some streaming. Absolutely horrendous stream, though. Uh, yeah, look. Uh, hmm. <laughs> that number's normally a lot bigger. <laughs> That's fine. Um, the door, though. Now, how are we going to have the door? Is the door just going to open? Does it slide across? Do we need to have a door? We don't need to have a door. Done. Fixed. Uh, so, whoops. <gasps> oh, jeez, I thought I cut the stream out. I would have punched myself in the face. Is it? No, ah, okay, cool. All right, okay, we're there. Uh, yeah, let's not have a door at all. So that means that we could go like so, like means we can go back to having this here. Okay. I to do an inset and I'm going to go shift D P separate by selection. And then we're going to go something like this. E to extrude. Ah! Itchy. Itchy face. And then I'm going to grab all these corners. Not you. Control B to do a bevel. And what that will allow me to do... Okay, delete faces. So now we have that. What the heck is this thing? Oh. Delete faces. Oh, there we go. Yeah, delete the wrong thing. Nice. And then where's my interior? This bit here. M, move to interior. And then we'll hide our spaceship away. I can get rid of these things because they're irrelevant. And because of that, ooh, oh, oh, crud, oh, crud, oh, crud, I didn't check that. Oh, it's too hot. Let's go scale on the, scale on the X, about there. And now I can actually bring the floor down to about here-ish. Mm, I don't think so. Let's alternate that around. I'm going to do a control R and do a control R, another edge loop, another edge loop, select these faces here, E to extrude, and it's just going to come down like so. So it's going to be almost like a step down. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will, though, move 
this all just a smidgen back. GY, something like that. Cool. That'll give us that. Then we can expand on a lovely jubblies. Casual heart attack Thursday. Casual heart attack Friday for me. Pull it, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Because, yeah, now it's kind of like you've got to step, step up. I love it. Love it. It's grouse. Fully sick. Off tap, bre. Uh, let's go like this. GG. Nope. GG. Oh, actually, no. Let's go here. Scale X zero. And see if we can just line that up a little bit. G to the X, like so. And we're going to do the same for this. Scale X zero. GG. Nice. And then from here, I'm going to select these faces. And then we're going to do I to do an inset. Like so. Let's grab this. Go down. Like this. Go up. Delete. Delete. Faces. There we go. Oh, you. Delete face. Uh, did I see? Aha. So as well. So we don't have any clipping. I am going to grab. Not you. You and you. You. And you. And how much space do we have in between these two? Almost dead set on you little ripper. Let's go GY. I'm just going to pull that back. And then so it looks like there's some filler in between the walls. Uh, it's like you just see it in your head. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, so the premise of the story is that this guy owns uh, this transport company. And he just pretty much transports like smaller items because obviously this is the ship this is the only style ship that he could afford um let's just go into rendered mode so you can actually see what it looks like at the moment uh this is the uh, the size of the ship that he can afford and obviously he's gone from the bottom made his way up to this point and the story unfolds on what happens when you know his livelihood is threatened so yeah digging this console I do like just the one console because uh, at the end of the day, it is a simple single man pilot. Hang on. I'm from Australia. Which side? On the right, I drive. Yes. Um, mm, do I make it Australian? Uh, no, nah, I might keep him there then. Just because then he's got visibility of when people kind of rock up to him. Uh, you model the console, download it. Yes, so this is part of uh, a little kit bashing set that I just put up on Patreon. Um, yeah. Any tips when stuck on a problem when modeling? Punch yourself in the face. No, don't. <laughs> in terms of what kind of problem on aesthetic, in terms of just like the the topology's not working, what are, what are we ref? referencing there um let's layer let's go orthographic and i just want to bring this all up g to the z about there is that to the roof down a smidgen there we go uh one thing i don't have which oh yeah let's do that Let's go create some sort of like little steppage space. Okay. Something like that. Because obviously getting into the space would be a pain in the bottom. Whoops. Oh, undo, 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 undo. Go back into object mode. And then we're going to rotate, have it line up roughly there-ish. Um, and so this will be, yeah, the step up, G, X, X, rotate Z, G, Y, Y, X, X, 
rotate Z about there, I reckon. Mm, yeah, I didn't really think about that. Getting in is probably going to suck. Oh, well. Sucks to be you, mate. Um, <laughs> let's do an edge loop through here. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to grab this bottom section. Yeah, perfect. And we're going to have something like that. Hide. Interior. Come back. And then let's bring that off the wall some more. There we go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put uh, three. I to do an inset. Let's go GG. Nope. Suck a lemon. E to extrude. And then this can be kind of like a faint light. GZ. Is that wall not flat? Oh, that's fine. Uh, maybe we'll do an array. Let's go array. Array. Z10. I want three steps. Something like that. Yeah, cool. So this door... It's going to have to open that way, but it's not going to be able to be fully opened. So... Alternatives. Alternatives? Aha! I know what the alternative is. Is because this bed here is a lot longer than I thought, I am going to move this over so it's in line. Um, we're going to grab everything on top. All this, GZ, bring it all the way up. From here. Now, how am I going to do this? I'm going to do edge loop through there. Edge loop through here. Ah, yeah. Okay, let's do it this way. Um, I'm going to come in. Select the inside here, H to hide. And then we're going to grab this here. Whoop. I'm going to grab this and this. GX, I'm going to move that all the way over to the edge. Nope, that's the door as well. I don't want the door. I just want the edge. Control L, hide. 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 All right, this might work now. Let's, oh, okay, suck a lemon, I don't want you. Let's go like this. What? No, stop it, you jerk. Okay. Okay. Select this edge. Hide. Perfect. Select this. Hide. Perfect. Let's select this and this schmuck. Let's move it all to the way of the... Had a stroke. Um, move it all the way to the edge. Now when I go Alt-H... Ah, there we go. So now, the way the inside should technically be is... You know, if we were to remove this door, it's not going to be like this, but uh, I'm not going to be too concerned about that. I should. Oh, actually, yeah. Ah, oh, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Because Marco is so smart. We're going to grab that. And then I'm going to do... Nope. I'm going to do this. Control B to do a bevel. And then we're going to deselect that. That, 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 that. And then we're going to go E to extrude. G, X. I hate you so much. Let's get rid of that edge loop. Delete edge loop. <laughs> okay. Let's deselect, deselect, deselect. Let's go here to extrude. All the way. Perfect. Perfect. Now, there we go. 
cooking with gas. So now when the door opens, we've got that extra nook in there. All that work just for that little nook, but it's more just to show you guys kind of like the thought process on how I kind of got to create that geometry there. Excellent. So that's coming together nicely. And that means now that that door can really open up a lot wider. Uh, I mean, technically we could even, why am I being so practical? I don't know. Alt H, I can come in, select this here, GX, make that door even smaller. So it rotates around and then you can really kind of like get in there. The nook was about to have you shook. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I approve of that. <laughs> Let's, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the outside of this. Shift D, P, separate by selection. Let's grab this. No, no, I want, I want the other one. That one there, thank you. Let's now go G, X. I'm going to bring it to the edge of the door, which is there. From here, do I have a whole bunch of edge loops? I do have a whole bunch of edge loops. So let's select them, delete vertices, and then I can select this one, and I can select U, F, and I can select the bottom one, and this one, F. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I can come in, select these, G to the X, I can now select this G to the Z. That now allows me to have that. Let's go into add modifier and I'm just gonna be lazy. Solidifier modifier, bump it up to two. Beautiful control A to apply that modifier. I'm gonna go ahead and now select this door. Control sucker lemon. Sweet. Shift the D to the X piece. P separate by selection. And then we're just gonna do the same style of door. G to the X, so about here. Uh, this one here, let's go tab. And I'm gonna grab all that. G to the X, dump you in there. Make sure we've turned off proportional editing. Grab that. G to the Z. I mean, she'll be right, mate. Hey. So, <laughs> I think for aesthetic reasons, I'm actually going to shrink this. So it's a little bit of a, a little bit more of a tighter fit. G to the Y. Uh, here-ish. Cool. And this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to select this, this, thus, nope, thus, thus, and thus, thus. Cool. Control B to do a bevel. I'm fairly chuffed with that. So that looks really nice. Um, that gives us an opportunity for everything to be kind of make a cube and delete it. Control A, Shift A, Mesh, Delete. There you go. <laughs> hey, someone just joined. Who joined? Mega, thank you. Welcome. I appreciate it. Thing came up just up there somewhere. All right, so that is, that's coming together nicely. Let's now, what's the time? 1.15, then the cinema, 11.50. All right, I think we've got to probably about 30 more minutes. Um, with this selected, let's kind of just start rounding everything off. And we're gonna grab all that, that. Um, I want that. I'm not gonna round off that one. Uh, might as well round this one off as well. Let's go. Hey, what are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 
scale x zero. Let's just go merge by distance. One vertice removed. Do I have anything else down here? Okay, cool. No worries. Just wanted to check that. Uh, let's go back to do this, 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 this. Thus, mm, I think that is every. Yep, and you. Control B to do a bevel. And that'll give us that. Whoops, a little bit too much. Control B. So that is my limit, that line there. Let's make sure I don't have anything else overlapping. Let's find that that bit there is overlapping. That looks fine. And I missed a point. I hate you. Let's do that. And we'll do that. So our limit is going to be probably that lovely so now we've got a nice rounded surface cool 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 control s to save from here let's go into a shift d to duplicate and we're going to go into a solidify modify and then let's do a zero to bring that and i'm going to make it just a little bit thicker um let's make sure it doesn't come out of the ship that and that. Do we see the cockpit anywhere? Nope. Grouse. Fully sick, bruh. Now 105%. <laughs> From here, let's select this option. So when I'm in edit mode. Yeah, let's select the other one. H to hide. Uh, so this option here, when I'm in edit mode. I don't see the modifier applied. And obviously when you come out, you can see it's solidified, modified, blah, 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 blah. Now, what are we gonna do? I am going to put an edge loop through here that's gonna go up and around the whole ship. I'm gonna go delete faces. So we're gonna go through the way that I create my sci-fi panels. Um, let's go, you know what? I am going to delete that section there because of the fact that it's an Angon. Oh, I hate you. Hang on, what? what's all this business here? All right, I've stuffed that up. Awesome, good job, Marco, well done. Idiot. Mm -hmm. Iron Speed, welcome to the channel, mate. Hope you're doing, having a wonderful Thursday night, Friday afternoon, whatever, who else? Aro? Oh, Aro. Aro? Aro? I don't know. Hey! Slice factors here as well. I'm <laughs> rather be blendering than working. Sucks to be you. Um, from here, let's grab... I reckon... I reckon we grab this... Oh, okay. I got a problem there. So I'm going to actually just clear that out. So get that edge loop there. Delete faces. Nice. What else do we have? I got a problem here. What are you doing, Sunshine? I don't know, but I don't like your attitude. Hmm. Maybe I should fix this before I go crazy. GG. GG. Yeah, let's just... let's go merge by distance now, and then to make my life sanity wise, I am going to put an edge loop. I am going to put an edge loop through. What the heck's going on? Why are you so sensitive? Because <laughs> it's Blender. Let's go delete those faces in there. And I'm going to do the same for here. Delete faces. And when we go tab into edit mode, you can kind of see the panels are starting to come together. Markham looks more Australian today. <laughs> what? what does that mean? Jeez, that's loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> How do I look more Australian? Mind you, soccer Australia. Probably can't really see it because of a green screen, you know. But uh, yeah, 
Anyway, Soccer Australia. Oh, uh, yeah. I am going to be, uh, hopefully next year, going for my C license in soccer, uh, focusing on youth training. So technically, I should be able to train. Should be able to. I can now do it, um, but I can officially train um, kids' teams, which is good, considering the fact I've been coaching a team now for three years. And uh, I love it. It's great. It's brilliant. Let's go like so. Delete uh, faces. Uh, we're going to do my signature thing. Select these two. Control B to do a bevel. Like so, like so, like so. Control B to do a bevel. We're going to grab these edges, scale on the X, like so, and open it up. Look at that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> From... Don't encourage me. Delete faces, and I will do the same for this section down here. This section, and we'll do this section and this section. Delete faces. Nice. That's looking good. Um, let's. Oh, done it. Let's just clear all this up because these are not required. Delete edge loops. And now we have this thing, control B to do a bevel, control B to do a bevel, delete faces. Nice. Uh, one thing I noticed I haven't done yet is put in any electronics. I wonder if that's going to bite me. Let's just select this inside loop and just go Alt S, just make it a little bit thicker. Nice. All right, we've got a problem here with this piece clipping through the wall. Marco, stop. G, Y, I'm just going to bring it forward a little bit just so it's not clipping. There we go, that's a little bit better. Turn your webcam upside down. Yak, welcome, man. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> More Aussie. I can I? All right, let's. Fine, fine. I will do it. Uh, if I click on this, right click, transform, flip vertically. There we go. All right. How are we feeling about that? You happy now? <laughs> uh, I'm looking the wrong way. No, am I looking the right way? Yeah, there we go. All right. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> well, maybe you guys are upside down. I don't know. <laughs> oh, gosh. 120. Uh, where are we? Um, 33, I don't know, how many are, uh, how many are we going on, 120, 130, 180, all right, okay, now, is chat, oh, I know, chat's not coming through, hang on, yeah, whatever. Cool, my stream was a little bit behind. <laughs> well, I've been doing this for so long that, yeah, I'm getting pretty good at talk. Fight, this is distracting. Uh, I'm getting pretty good at talking to myself as I work. So, yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, yeah, I've been doing, oh, geez, I don't even know how long I've been doing tutorials now for. It's been donkey's years. Let's go something like that. Delete faces. Nice. Uh, let's do... Let's keep it at that. Um, what's time? All right, we've got a little bit of time. I am just going to quickly open up one of the other spaceships. Just because... 
I just see myself in the corner of my eye upside down. You guys asked for it. It's your own fault. Uh, let's go into... I don't think it's the medium frigate. I think... Not that one. Sure, range. Not that one. These are some failed models that I tried. This one? Nope, not that one. Sci-fi hangar bay. Oh, that was a good model, actually. Sci-fi farmer ship. That one's got the Toyota Hilux front end. That's the generator. Short-range fighter ship. This is the one. All right. Oh. Patreon, I think. So what I'm just doing now is I'm just going to jump in, grab my seat. <laughs> Far out. Uh, let's grab... Ooh, actually. Do I like this seat? I don't know. Let's just grab it. Control V. Plop it into place. Seems out of scale. Uh, where's my character? Bring him back. I do not like this seat at all. Where? Which Which other one did I create? Hang on. There's another one. Uh, I want to say it's in the medium. That's the mole transport. What do we do with the mole? Did I finish the mole? No, I didn't like the mole. The mole was a terrible ship. All right, cool. Thank you, Blender, for crashing because I didn't want to show that one off. Um, small, medium frigate. I'm pretty sure the medium frigate... Oh, that's that one. Oof. Marco, you really need to finish that one off. That one... Mm. SS Clip Runner. What's SS Clip Runner? Yes, this is the one. Uh, Patreon. Yeah, I didn't like the that one. Uh, my eyes still searching for your face in the bottom corner. <laughs> uh, we add a lion. I don't know. <laughs> it looks normal now. Sorry, <laughs> guys. Uh, let's grab this seat, uh, control C, and then we'll jump back into this one, control V, hey, let's kind of just move that off to the side for a sec, uh, make sure that's in incremental mode, okay, U, delete, U, uh, get rid of the mirror modifier, bevels, uh, yes, I will... Mirror modifier always goes first. No, mirror modifier always goes first. Control A to apply that. This bit here is for all that. Uh, so that's something I'm going to have to fix up. Let's go just delete that bit for now. We're going to grab... Do I want to apply the subdivision on that now? Sure, why not? Control A. No. Yes. Okay. From here, let's bring this chair across. And we're going to get rid of that chair. Period key to zoom in. You donkey, you're meant to join everything together. Control J to join. You're, uh, you're off a little bit. So something like that. Nice. And then we're going to grab this. Um, how are we going to do this? GG. Let's grab this. GG. Oh, actually, yeah, let's do it like that. Let's grab that edge. G to the Y. And then I'm going to go... G, Y. Let's put that there. Let's press T to bring out the side panel. Spin tool... Hmm, something about there. Let's go make that an F for a face. E to extrude. GG. Let's bring that back up to about here, please. Hmm, no. It has to go down to the floor first. And then we'll do an E to extrude. Scale Z, zero. And then we have something like that. Your feet are on it, mate. That's fine. We'll fix that up later. Um, from here, I'm going to grab there. Shift S cursor to selected. Let's throw a cube on. 
GZ something like so G to the Y edge loop through there uh, edge loop through there GZ something like that from here thought I heard my phone go off but I think that's just the dinging of the music that I've been listening to for the past almost two hours let me just have a look at chat in a sec I just want to finish this one little bit off Control L, scale on the X, scale on the Y. Yes! Perfect! And then it's kind of like that little bit of a base plate that he's standing on. E to extrude. Down you go, sunshine. Probably about there. And then we'll press F to do a face. I am now going to go ahead and select these edges. And I'm not too con I'm not too concerned about the end gone. Yeah, beautiful. Let's grab that section, that section. Control Control B to do a bevel. Okay, let's do that and that. Control B to do a bevel. A little bit too insane. Boom! Alien. We had an alien. Oh, I see. I don't know. I do have semi ideas. Maybe I might bring in an alien. Sorry, Mr. Green Screen. Um, we'll see. But it, that is a possibility. Skin tool is terribly underappreciated. I completely agree. Why not? I can't. I can't. Hang on. I gotta flip this back over. Uh <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you're looking that because I'm from down under. Welcome to Australia. Hey, at 50 million, I guess you don't need any heating at home. <laughs> what? Um, no, no. So, oh, okay. Poly count. Let's have a look. Uh, statistics, statistics, statistics. Statistics, statistics. Oh, hey, come back. Uh, statistics, what are we at? Uh, Alt H. We are only at 184,000 vertices. That's because not everything's there. Hide the characters, bring the ship back. So the ship by itself is up here, uh, 62,000 vertices. What are we? 58,000 uh, faces. So I mean, like, it's pretty good. Yeah, 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 spin yourself down under. So, oh yeah, look at that. And we haven't even put any materials on yet. Oh, sick. Uh, this I don't like. Richard, hey, thank you. Much appreciated. I do wish I could live stream more during the day. Uh oh. Uh, but, what the heck? Oh, there is a bevel there already. <laughs> that is the weakest bevel. But anyway, cheers from the States. Uh, do I have any jokes? What are some terrible jokes? I'll give you a jokes. My favorite all-time joke, go-to joke, is what's red and bad for your teeth? A brick. That is, that's the default joke. Um, if there's kids around, it's, uh, why do gorillas have big nostrils? Because they've got big fingers. Yeah, because they pick their nose. Oh, what did I send my wife the other day? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Do I have it? Do I have it? Who just joined? Oh, no, it's Richard coming through. Uh... <laughs> How does the rock? How does the rock pee? He Dwayne's his Johnson. Um, Vin Diesel eats two meals a day: breakfast and break furious. That was a good one. I like that one. Um, <laughs> there is a fine line between fishing and standing on the shore like an idiot. <laughs> anyway, those are some terrible jokes. Use them at your heart's desire. 
Um, but anyway, let's get back to this. So I like I like how that's looking. Ugh, itchy nose. That is looking pretty good. Um, this bit in here, I'm going to have to fix up because obviously the panels there is all right. I've got to fix that up. Um, this whole interior in here needs to be worked on. I'll probably work on that maybe on Sunday. I don't know. We'll see. That's to be decided. Um, but let me just show you quickly as well the other things that we've been working on on live stream. Last Sunday, we created uh, the Mechanics Workshop. Fishing is just standing on the shore. I know. I know. <laughs> I, yeah, I am, I am, I don't have the patience for fishing. Let's just say that. Um, err, the ship's already in there. Um, but yeah, so this is what we created on live stream on Sunday. Uh, fairly chuffed with how this turns out. Uh, let's oh, hang on, let me just open the door quick bring in some light let's maybe just wrap around the um, Sun a little bit just so we can get a little bit more shader shader editor uh, let's go into world select zoom in uh, let's go Sun rotation Whatevs. Just to kind of ah oh, get staffed, get back a little bit. So yeah, I'm really happy how this is turning out. Um, I think I'm spending a little bit too much time on this bin, especially because this is only going to be in the short for only a couple of minutes. But the big thing is going to be creating that giant ship, and that's where probably the medium frigate's going to come in. Uh, don't save. So if we go into the medium frigate, let's have a look at that one. This is the thing that I, Marco, you need to finish. March. The problem is, is someone said, your site, your panels are too small. And I was like, no, it's fine. They are too small. I look, I've got all these paneling to still do. Um, and if we come into here, I'll just show you real quick. Uh, let's give the world a little bit more love. Okay. Uh, screw you. Let's do sky texture, throw that in there into here. And so, yeah, this ship is coming along really nice, but yeah, the paneling, there is just so much paneling. This whole section needs to be done. All this needs to be done. The bridge needs to be done. So that's the scale. Whoops. So that's the scale of the ship. So yeah, a lot of work still needs to be done on this thing. Um, I have been doing a lot on Discord here and there. Let me just bring up Discord. Do I have Discord open? I do not have Discord open. Go over there. Get. Um, let's go right click, invite people, copy, and we'll control V. I can't post through Streamlabs, you stupid Streamlabs. Control V. Also, link in the description, there is uh, one of my free kit bashing sets. So if you want to download that, go download that. Uh, what else? Sunday night. We'll be streaming tonight is an Omniverse video on something. I'm trying to upload a short every day now for the next two months. Uh, what else is happening? I don't know. If you want to download any of these assets, they're on Patreon for the ones that are finished. Um, all my kit bashing sets are on Patreon as well. Let me just quickly show that off as we start wrapping up because I know there'll probably be a mass exodus now. Uh, so that material is now on Patreon, the marketplace, uh, there's a hidden video there, this ship, the control panel assets, which I have not pu published anywhere. That's up there. The sci-fi apartment, this ship, 
the building's assets, this ship, more, this is another sci-fi material. There's a short course, uh, all the projects, sci-fi kit bashing engine, like there is just stuff. Girl, I love this video. This one. This is one of my favorite things that I've done. Actually, I'll make that bigger. I'm pretty chuffed with that. Not not that bit, but yeah. Anyway. So I'm gonna call it a night, day, afternoon. I've got some electronics to play with. Um, if you're not up to date, check that on Instagram as well. I'm still upside down. I how am I still upside down? Oh, okay. I am behind on YouTube. Um, Harry Potter. So absolutely. Gotta love Harry Potter. It's the bee's niece. Um, but yes. You're a wizard, Harry. Have a good afternoon.